Hi guys! Today is Monet again. And today I'm doing something different. Um, so instead of just eating at my mukbang, I'm going to cook as well. But uh, just let me see if it works. Um, okay. That's why I'm like 10 minutes earlier. That's why I'm like 10 Okay. At least I could hear myself and see myself. Uh, the light's probably not as good and the camera's funny. So, so up. But at least you can see what I'm cooking. You can see like, uh, oh, and by the way, here is just my mic. So you, you guys could hear me properly. So this is just uh, my first try. So I chose a really, really simple, like the easiest recipe you can cook. I don't know if it's okay, because right now I have to like really look up to the camera to see you guys. But um, hopefully it's not looking too bad and uh, you guys can hear me as well. And uh, it's also just easier for me to kill this one hour live stream. Um, and I don't need to do an extra video for the vegan recipe because I'm thinking I'm just gonna cook like easy ones takes probably five minutes, even less. Like this whole thing take, takes probably a minute, <laughs> even could be shorter. But uh, sorry, first, firstly, I have to apologize for this light here. You guys probably could see it, but um, if I put it too further away and then I don't get enough sunlight anymore and behind me it's a huge uh, window. Yeah, although I put the blinds down, so trying to avoid a bit of the light behind me, but uh, that's what it is. And so today I'm going to make a vegan salad with coriander. So some of you guys probably don't like the taste of coriander and, and very often people use it as a herb so you just put a little bit at the end of a dish but in this case I'm using probably four or five coriander the whole ones and then I washed it and cut it to probably five centimeters long and there is another thing in this recipe is tofu um, the best tofu you can choose is the, this kind of smoked, it's a really firm, hard, uh, smoked tofu. So it looks like a has a like a darker skin, um, but I can't find it uh, in the Asian store today. Mm, they say they're gonna have more uh, tonight, but uh, I don't have time anymore. So I just bought this firm tofu, like the regular ones, like a really white firm tofu and it doesn't have much smell neither. Usually the smoked tofu has a light saltiness as already, so. so in this case, I probably need to add a bit more salt in this. I'm also adding a huge um, garlic, a garlic clove, but I crush it. So right now it's like minced, um, so that's it. That's all the main ingredients we're gonna need. Oh, and I roasted some peanuts. So just a um, tiny bit oil in the pan and cook this on low heat. So I did all these preparations beforehand. So it's gonna be quicker. So a bit of light means, how do you call it, like the taste from coriander. And uh, the Oh, I didn't wash this properly anyway. Okay, and then tofu and then roasted um, peanuts. And for the dressing, I have here, you can see, firstly, we're gonna need some salt. Uh, if it's not enough, we can always add a bit later. And here's uh, sesame oil. You can also use vegetable oil, and when you um, when you were roasting your peanuts, there is some oil in it already. 
So, and we're gonna add a bit of uh, rice vinegar. I've used this for a couple of times. This brand, for some reason, it's not very sour. So I'm just going to add a bit more, about one tablespoon. And just give it a stir. Let's give it a try if it actually has some taste. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Could add a bit more vinegar. So pretty much that's all you need. Vinegar and salt and a bit of um, sesame oil. And if you like spicy food, I make these uh, chili sauce like last week. You can also just add like tiny little bit because this is like a really crazy spicy as well. But that's everything you need. Okay. So that's ready. By the way, I didn't really cook the tofu, but uh, if you um, don't like it, pretty much you don't really need to cook tofu because they are cooked already. Um, you can always put in the microwave for like a minute or 20 seconds. Okay. Guten Appetit. And slightly a bit more salt. It's pretty much everything's raw except uh, peanuts. Um, let's try one. Mm -hmm. You can always roast your peanuts in the microwave as well. But it tastes just be better in a pan when you cook it in a pan. I'm slightly a bit earlier than usual, maybe that's why. Right now too, if you guys can always leave your comments in the live chat section and I can see it. Mm, I don't know if this angle is okay. Probably next time I'll do it a bit lower. Because it looks funny on looking up all the time. By the way. Should probably have cut it a bit smaller. The Korean are huge. Okay. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> mm. Is the salad looking good or I'm looking good? Anyway, <laughs> mm, this is like really easy. I find this recipe on a Chinese uh, cooking app. Like they have um, many different recipes, Chinese recipes. I also upload a couple of my recipes on this app as well. So everybody is just sharing this recipe, their recipes. And I find this like super easy because we pretty much don't need to cook. Like it takes only two seconds. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and this app, if you guys could read Chinese, this is like probably one of the best cooking app you could find. It. And um, I don't know if I could show you guys. It. It's. Here, okay, let's see. It's too far away, it's probably. 
How about right now? So it's this like called 下厨房 pretty much means going to the kitchen or cook in the kitchen or something. And the logo is a Chinese character for kitchen. And I realized lots of、um, YouTuber、uh, has like a, has an account on this app as well. So I'm always looking for some inspiration for my Chinese recipes on this app, and it's free.、Um, although they try to sell stuff on the app as well, so they have like a shopping area you can buy. But I think it's only available in China. Believe it or not, I have how many subscribers? One thousand two hundred fifty subscribers. Um, it's all because of one video since like two two weeks ago, which is which is my Peking duck video. Um, that's why I'm getting a bit more subscribers, I think. But previously, I have a really good video on the chili oil. That one is going like slow, slower, somehow. But、um, I think everything is good. So last week I also made this、um, Sichuan chili sauce.、Mm, I think next week, not this week, but next week I'm going to make another one because I want to finish this one first. To to make the next one,、mm. and this sauce is what is it? It's like a、um, green. Can you guys see? It's a green. I made this. The video is on my channel from last week, so it's pretty much green chili, steamed with a bit of fresh peppercorns. And mix with cooked oil. It's like super easy. Takes also like five minutes. But you can also buy it. I have a shop, Etsy shop. You can also buy it from my Etsy shop. I put it、um, my shop last week. Um. I'm going to put my other chili oil or chili sauce recipes on my Etsy as well. So <laughs> don't get I don't get the joke. Last weekend, we went to a Thai restaurant.、Mm. For some reason, there are lots of、uh, Vietnamese and Thai living in Deutschland, and、um, there are probably more Thai restaurants in Kaswa than Chinese restaurants. And last week, we went to this Thai restaurant just behind us, probably five minutes walk.、Mm. And I, I ordered this like a curry, but with deep fried dry fish. And when I ordered, I, they have like two menus: one for Germans, the other they called it.、Um, hmm, sorry, Einsatz menu. So like extra, you can order from, which is like.、Um, For Thai or like more authentic dishes, so I chose 
one from them um, and it, when I ordered she was like trying to warm me because it has lots of bones and I think Germans don't really they are not really good at eating fish with lots of bones at least my husband is terrible at it um, but the good thing is all the fish like so so big like uh, how do I describe it like um, baseball like so big or ping pong ball okay smaller than so a ping pong ball like so so big and completely like a uh, deep fried and so really crispy for mm, so I didn't even like notice of like how many bones were in it because it really is crispy it's really similar to <clears throat> a Chinese dish but uh, they use kind of curry sauce for it which is kind of different And um, next week, I'm making. Sorry, this week I'm making this. So it's half finished. Mm, it's uh, finally I'm going to make this Schwarzwald Kuchen, so black forest cake. It's like half finished this morning. I just baked the cake. It takes like a, a day, like overnight, to let it dry, so it wouldn't break to when when you try to separate it. So you guys are probably gonna see this recipe this week, and then I'm also going to make um, Szechuan dumpling this week, and probably another um, dessert with mango. So about this. Uh, it's from the Asian store here, it just has a uh, much better quality and this one mango costs like three three oil so a lot more expensive than the ones in the normal supermarket but it's a lot sweeter and um, I actually I have tried like when I was I have tried shark shark fillet fillets have probably I do but only because my parents probably had it somewhere. I think while we once as a family we went to Qingdao, a city in China called Qingdao. Um, so actually, Germans were there a long time ago, and they also brought beer there. So Qingdao Pijo is really famous, Qingdao beer, and they they also have um, huge fishing industry. And somehow in the village, when we were having our holiday, and they just fish, got some, got some shark. And it's so small, probably smaller than my arm. And they cooked it. I probably had it, but my memory is really blurry. But I wouldn't eat shark anymore now. Before I also had a shark fin soup kind of thing. It's like um, mm, tastes slightly like a glass noodle, but crunchier. But a long time ago, someone ordered it in the restaurant when we had um, dinner party in China. But I also wouldn't eat any shark anymore because they're so cute. I don't want to eat them anymore. Especially after, I don't know, we, we had a holiday in Kent, um, me and my husband, we went to uh, uh, White Heaven, it's like a really white sand, and the sand is different from the regular sand because it's 80% uh, of a cynical, so it's really soft sand and white and we did a, like a helicopter tour and you could really see lots of sharks and whales in the water but uh, 
Even before that, I decided I'm not going to eat any sharks anymore because very unnecessary. You don't need to eat shark. You can also just eat coriander and tofu. And I don't think they are really extra tasty or something. Actually, most of the fish from from the ocean tastes really tough. Tastes more like a meat than fish, if that makes sense. But I don't eat shark anymore. I think、um, don't know for how how many years already. But I never really like you don't. Go to a supermarket to buy shark to cook because you want to eat shark so much. So that incident doesn't happen at all. So doesn't matter where. It only happens like you go to a restaurant and people want to show off how much money they have and they order like shark fin or shark soup. Could you hear someone's knocking the door? So we we have like cleaner coming to. Clean the building once a week, and last week, so every once a week or sometimes twice a week or once every two weeks. I have no idea. People coming to pick up the garbage, and last week nobody was opening the door for for the garbage man. So our building has like piles of garbage for two weeks now. It's horrible in summer when you just have pile and piles garbage in the building, and we were living like a at the first floor. If I open the window, I could like literally see flies coming into our apartment. So I don't even bother to open the windows anymore. At least not the side where the garbage is. Ah,、uh, let's let's see. So just one person. Should I tell the joke or not? Nobody's here today. Let me just finish the salad first. Then we can talk about some other things. By the way, for this salad, you can also use、um, olive oil instead of、uh, sesame oil. So sesame oil, sesame is Deutsch.、Um, yeah, instead of、uh, rice vinegar, you can also use balsamic vinegar. I guess the taste will just be slightly different. Hmm. And here is my、um, sourdough starter, my old one. Somehow got mold on it. I forgot to feed it for a week, and then last week when I wanted to make some pizza, and just has a thick,、uh, like a thick layer of mold on top. It was disgusting. I don't know what happened, so I have to start fresh. It's kind of difficult to eat like this with chopsticks. I also probably need tissue. Do I have tissue here? 
my nose is running like crazy because of the chili sauce. Super quiet today. Um, I have been making like videos um, quite frequently, like I'll say at least one video a day. But then I realized like when I'm making so many, it's not getting so many views. For me, it's actually not a big problem to produce so many. But um, because I'm just keep every week, I'm keep like uh, filming and cooking, filming, cooking, editing, and I don't have many time to run my blog. So please let me know how you think. Should I keep doing like this? Just keep filming and make more recipes, cooking videos, or should I slow it down to probably? three or four recipe a week then I'll have a bit more time to write hmm. this one actually I bought this chopsticks um, in Taiwan so it's not like your Korean ones sometimes you go to a Korean restaurant you get like really heavy metal chopsticks, really hot, and they are really tiny, like really narrow. Um, but this one, it's really light. The problem with uh, wooden chopsticks is, um, you sometimes when you cook, the paint on the chopstick would, will f fall apart. So you're pretty much eating some a bit some parts of the paint all the time that's why I felt like it's probably not so healthy although my parents use like wooden ones all the time but I find this one this one like a metal I don't know what's the material of this one but it's pretty easy to use look I can pr probably pick up everything with chopsticks Because it's so light, that's why it's just easy. But so I, I guess it makes sense when you use like um, square chopsticks, not those round ones. It's easier to use for beginners. Mm, but my husband didn't know how to use chopsticks before he met me neither. He didn't even like to eat sushi. So. Now he's also a sushi fan and can use chopsticks perfectly. We just need to practice. Mm. I think I'm getting so on average a uh, regular cooking video probably 40 hits. 40 views on the first day and then probably 50 to 60 views mm. and some of the videos stop there around 50 or 60 but uh, some better ones would go further to 100 or 150 mm. sometimes stop there as well Mm. Occasionally, I guess once a week or twice a month, have like a um, really um, excellent video <laughs> somehow can go to 
400 or 500 mm. It usually takes really long, probably six months or ten months. A video could reach a thousand views, but not all of them. So, really, not that many. I think that my my number of views have just stopped at the level. Like it's not growing that fast compared to the number of subscribers. But. Um, I could see like from my analytics, I'm getting so before, previously when I only had the one good video, so the this um, chili oil video I had like 20,000 views, when I only had that uh, I was around, having around 800, 80, 800 um, views for two days. So. So that's that's really less. Four hundred views a day, sometimes four hundred on average, and then it has been growing to like uh, eight hundred views a day. Because I'm having like the second best videos now, the Peking Duck video, and if I'm looking at now, my number is around around 800 to 900 views a day but it's just boring topic i think it's not like that important for now right now i'm just like producing things i like to make and find some interesting topics to make uh, like on the weekend we were at this thai restaurant and um so so a friend of my husband brought um, his wife, no wife, friend, um, girlfriend, but they're a bit older than us. So they were like asking, asking us, well, what are we doing now? And I said, I'm, um, I'm work, pretty much working from home. And I told her about my YouTube channel. So she was like asking how much money I'm making now with my videos so i showed her i i'm not joking guys like you can literally see it i i know it's not allowed to show um, your like a this is called pvm i think like um oh cpm so it's like the each country uh how much money YouTube is paying per thousand views, I guess. So I'm not allowed to show this data, but I could show like how much money I made. So last 28 days, I made $21.38. And that has been like the best, best month I had. So, so like, um, I would say, so that's like from today and you count 80, 28 days. Uh, so f for the last 28 days. And this number has been growing like from, I think it was started from nothing to like uh, about a year after making videos for a year, it turned to like $10 a month, so 28 days. And then just growing a bit, a bit, and I think it was like um, around March or May, the YouTube did something with their advertising platform. So a lot of uh, companies <coughs> withdraw from their YouTube campaign, and you could literally see a huge dip. But I didn't have like I only had. Um, ten dollars a month so it was nothing to me so pretty much from 10 to nothing again and until now it's like 20. i think it's okay for now i can just um comfort myself by saying it's not about money nothing is about money it's just for fun and probably later when i have 10 thousand subscribers I can probably look into that a bit more try to find some other ways to make more money 
at least twenty dollars a month. It's enough for it's enough for a cup of coffee for how many times? Mm, four cups of coffee. Although I don't drink coffee that often. Oh, by the way, there is like a a friend of us. He's uh, really into third wave coffee. I have no idea what it means. And um, but there's a coffee shop in Karlsruhe apparently serve. Oh, sorry, third wave coffee. And we actually we went to the coffee shop twice already. You can taste the beans are better. The coffee beans. So the um, coffee taste, like you can, I guess you can tell, like it's a bit more, it's a bit softer and doesn't give you a, like a heartburn or some side effect from coffee. And but the shop is really tiny, like they don't serve many desserts, probably some cookies and um, very ordinary German cakes, probably only one or two cakes. And then few cookies. That's all the desserts they serve. And then other than that, they just serve coffee and they do uh, courses uh, for people who want to learn how to make coffee. That's it. I finished. Can you guys see? Okay. I still have so many peanuts. I need some water. So last night we saw a movie called Selfless. I know there's not many great movies in cinema right now. We went to see uh, Money, Tom, Tom Cruise movie, and then mm, what else? Probably going to see uh, The Planet of Apes next week or the week after. Apparently, it's a slightly better film. But there are many movies like Minions, many movies this summer, but nothing's really good. Wonder Woman was good, but I saw lots of uh, negative reviews. If it's good, I'm going to check it out. I like the actress though. <coughs> so I probably have to check it out. And we got this um, Amazon Prime. Actually, um, sorry. <coughs> sorry. So a friend of us, he has Amazon. Prime and then we were just all sharing his Amazon, his Prime. Um, don't know how much it is. I think it probably forty euro, fifty euros a year, or but uh, I buy lots of stuff from Amazon. Um, it's crazy, anyway. Um, but uh, I find it this. Um, Prime for watching TVs is pretty good. They have like lots of TV series produced. The quality is sometimes, uh, but uh, it's acceptable. So you just if you just want to watch something and it, there's nothing on TV, it happens very often in Deutschland. There's just nothing you can watch. They could show one episode of South Park every day of the week, even every month of that day showing the same episode always the same so you're always watching the same episode for some reason i think they just don't want to pay so very often you don't get anything on tv the amazon prime is pretty good even though some of the tv series has really weird quality um, we have tried to watch a couple and you can also watch uh, movies so actually you're streaming, but legally streaming, I think, and watch some good movies. Last week, la uh, yesterday, we watched this Selfless. It was not too bad. It was mm, 
mediocre aber but not a bad movie like some well last night at the same time we were watching this from uh, Amazon there was uh, showing another romantic comedy it was just so hard to watch because so stupid I don't want to watch stupid movie I, I, what's what's the name I forgot already because too stupid to watch but anyway if Wonder Woman is good I will check it out or ask my husband uh, That's an old film, isn't it? I don't, I don't mind like a romantic comedy really. I, actually, I find uh, oh, what's the uh, Oscar last year? This um, La La Land. I find it was good. It was like the story was simple. Like the dance wasn't really good. The music was okay, but somehow, like the message it trying to convey was actually good. I think it's just something it have to it has to touch me. Like I don't know, but I I'm, I don't against romantic comedy. I I find it it's it's okay. Sometimes it's awkward, like there's like a fake orgasm things and stuff. It's not really funny. It's just awkward to me, at least to me. Um, but um, I don't know. Like, a, what's the other romantic comedy? Notebook or something. It's like a borderline. Some people are saying it's like amazingly good. I I think it's just okay to watch. But uh, hmm, people always have different tastes. Okay. Some of the action films people get really are uh, like the um, like this summer we saw a, a couple in the cinema like uh, Mummy and what's the other the um, uh, Pair of Caribbean what's the other things it it's really I think people just having too much expectations when they when they went to the cinema. I always have a really low expectations. If and for me, if it's action, then doesn't need to be more than an action. Probably a bit comedy pl plus action. Then it's good enough. It doesn't have to like a, every movie be a like classic or something. If it's just for entertaining and for entertaining. Ah, as, what's the other um, safeguard or something? Was just from the trailer I felt like it was a horrible it was a horrible film but I didn't really want to see it ah, and these are uh, 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 the, I keep say, speaking German this Chamanchu is it called Chamanchu? or the Chumeng? what's the name? Oh, I don't bother to I don't bother to search but I thought I'm uh, going to watch it as well. Anyway, in Deutschland it's kind of expensive to watch movie in the cinema. Oh, and a funny thing is that I have only seen this in Deutschland is when you go to see a cinema that a couple of things is really funny. One is at the beginning of the movie, the show very often like 30 minutes of uh, commercials, uh, trailers, uh, kind of like, um, this is not like the weirdest thing, but uh, they also uh, sell ice cream, so like uh, ice pop and sim similar kind of things. And they always like after the commercial, and then they put like a, a really short, like a ten second notice. And if you want to buy ice ice cream, you can buy it now. And then the light suddenly goes really bright, and you can see the person go and have like a box of ice cream you can buy from so that's kind of oh, we have bought ones like it was cactus cactus ice so it's not bad so it's a different experience except 
Um, so besides popcorns or nachos or things, you can buy actually ice cream. In the stop it, <laughs> and ice cream and stuff. Like in Australia, you can't really eat anything. You can bring like anything into the cinema to eat, unless you pay like fifty dollars or something called Gold Pass or Gold Class or something. Then you can actually buy food there and bring to the cinema. I think they're just too lazy to clean up. So, yeah. Um. I haven't watched the second one. Is the third one or second one? I should watch it at the same one. Those kind of things I should put on my list because we were like every evening when I'm sitting there, I don't know what to watch. And those kind of things can look for. Oh, and then the other thing, really weird in Deutschland in the cinema is they have a break. So if you have a movie which is longer than two hours, I'm not. I don't know the exact number. Could be two hours or two and a half hours, and they have a break in the middle. So you, I don't know. It's probably by law they don't want you to sit there for two or three hours not moving. Maybe somebody gonna die from it or something. But、um, they have a break. So it's like in the school, like you watch the movie, and you're you're like you're all like into the plot. You want to watch more, and suddenly you have to stop because you have a, like a ten minutes break in between. And go to the toilet and stuff. Well, it's also really funny. You know what? I'm like、uh, I started with cooking at the beginning, and okay, I was like ten minutes early. Maybe that's why, because right now is it's only half time, two thirty nine. But let me know. Maybe next time I'm going to bring my stove. To the table, then we can cook something. But I have to think of something to cook, which is not too complicated. Like this recipe today, I'm make I made today was not too bad. Okay, and probably the camera should go a bit lower as well. Right now, it's really funny angle. Anyway, keep saying the same thing. Ah, so 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 so. Um, you guys probably know、uh, we're going to China, and then for a couple of days I've been like doing a research, like what we could do and what what we could eat. And、um, some of you guys probably know I'm from Nanjing. If you don't know where it is, go to Google it.、Um, and I literally don't know where to eat in the city anymore. And it's supposed to be my hometown, my own city. But after nine years, I have no idea which restaurant we should go anymore. So I was like doing a bit of research、um, on the app. There is an app in、um, in China where you can look for things, which is trending. That's also like a research I'm doing probably for later because I want to do like vlog for this trip. In September, late September, beginning of October. So I want to do like a try to do like an everyday、uh, vlog. Hopefully it works. But、uh, I have to. I'm. I'm just right now doing a bit of research, like which restaurant we can go and where I can film. And all the restaurants, like ninety percent of restaurants, I have no idea. I never heard of. <laughs> so. Do you guys know Lime Friend? Like there is a Lime Friend. So it's like um some cartoon figures, like ones like a bear, like a brown bear, and another is a chicken or something. Uh, probably you guys more familiar with this, but um this uh they have a cafe in my city. So it's a, a line friend thing cafe. I hope I could find a picture of it. I feel that it's really sweet and it's like a romantic, uh, uh, little girl kind of cafe. So we could probably go to. 
let me just look for again i saw the picture last night and i thought well can something i could probably film and um, so yeah 90 percent of the restaurants that i'd never heard of ah, okay there there is also this i don't know if you can see there is somebody posted a hot pot restaurant but it totally looks like a fairy tale with um uh, like in the amusement park everything is pink mm. so it's probably also good to check it out uh, so here is this you guys can see it called lime friend cafe mm. to bed quality so you can probably see so it's like a huge bear head and a rabbit and um, another one I have no idea is a chicken or is a duck but uh, it's quite interesting because you get all these interesting things restaurants in China but there is nothing in Kasua in Kasua it's, Kasua it's dead there's no anything interesting nobody is trying to reinvent and make something new anything every shop like the other shop there's only kebab shops handy shop bakery and that's probably it there's a whole our street except to like shopping malls you can buy some clothes the rest you can eat is probably put kebab uh, so doona you can buy or um, so no, nothing really trending like nothing new like nothing is Instagram quality that's boring I'm not beautiful I'm also not perfect hmm. As actually you find uh, like uh, on this app it's a bit like a Chinese Instagram kind of thing I think it's gonna be the future of Instagram ah, in China and you see those girls that are like they're like super pretty then you realize oh, there's always somebody prettier than you and, mm, I'm not pretty or perfect nor perfect but I can't make burp it's not like Yelp. Have you heard of it? It's called Xiao Hong Shu, the little red book. So it's pretty much like there are a few of these kind of apps in China now. It's like uh, they're trying to sell you things. So, so pretty much they are e-commerce site. But instead of website, they are an app. But instead of uh, just an uh, e-commerce app, you can have your social imprint in it. So you can have your own profile you can post pictures but uh, I find this thing is much better than Instagram is you can just tag your photo so you go then you go to so this is like my profile and you can click um, and then you can add a picture or you add a video but after you're adding a picture you can add a tag so you tag it you say what's the name of the product you are showing in your picture so you can have like multiple things to tag from. You can also not tag in any product. You can just tag what you want to say of the picture. And you can put like the place, the location where you uh, bought it and the price. So it's really like an e-commerce oriented. Um, but you, in, in not just like um, Instagram. Okay. You can buy stuff on it. I think the extra thing from Instagram is you can buy stuff from this app and you can show things what you bought, like a showing of the things you bought. And then you can also write your experience with the product or many people simply go to a restaurant and they take pictures, like a regular food pictures and they tag what's the name of the restaurant, uh, how much of each dishes, what's the name of each dishes. And you write probably a few words about the thing. I think the good thing 
really the good thing is you can take the product you bought and if this app also has this product for sale and then you literally bring business sales for this app so people can go to your picture and see okay here is one of my picture and uh, here's me i'm wearing like uh, jeans and the sweater and i take the sweater and the jeans and if the app sells this jeans and sweater people can just click on this tag and then go straight to buy it i think there's also like a app uh, for instagram similar like this it's called what is this called style or something called I tried to use this before, but I just don't have enough follower on Instagram. What's the name of it? It's but they only do like a clothing. It's called Shop Style. I think it's also you can also use this for Instagram to tag stuff, and because it's there are like a fashion fashion e-commerce site, and you can tag your Instagram pictures to this app shop style or something. I never used it. I find it sometimes you see like after living overseas for a while you, you realize you are so out of date because everything's a lot more advanced in China. I feel like I don't know old not up to date kind of thing. Anyway they it's like I just find this like not long ago and um, I find it's more interesting than Instagram very often on Instagram you get people trying to sell you stuff but this here you just do your post people like your post they like it then nobody's trying to sell you pushing you to sell you stuff and um, I've done this I don't know how long three weeks mm, and um, for three weeks I have 29 followers and 211 likes and 296 collection so you can collect some other people's posts and for later to use actually collect some other people's posts as well because uh, I'm doing a research on things like uh, where we could go in China you can really easy by searching the name pretty much just like a anything I could search the product name uh, city name uh, even even I don't know even even the weather or you can say hotel such hotel uh, Hong Kong then it gives you all the result like people are posting like trending people very often like post that's the funny thing is you know on the, like Instagram models everything or everybody are like superstars showing a pretty pretty outfit and very often showing lots of skin and it's the same same, same like in this Chinese app it's not like um, funny things I, I realize like the differences in, uh, on Instagram you very often see naked girls so they are really trying to show everything so like uh, instead of like the important parts they can't really show otherwise the post is gonna be banned so but it, on this Chinese app similar I think they're doing similar thing but a lot more uh, subtle like uh, Chinese would post uh, picture of her in a hotel in Hong Kong in bed with pajama so if it's in Instagram you probably see a girl naked in bed but in in this Chinese app you see girls in pajama still so like really huge difference I find it's interesting like people are how they see what is sexy like uh, for more Western style is more skin like showing mm, curvy fig figure 
like but for Chinese it's more like uh, trying to cover but not completely cover and you having that space for your own imagination it's a huge difference but uh, I guess it's also probably not okay to show like Instagram pictures in in this Chinese app although, although I have seen like um, somebody in Macau posted a list of a uh, big car so um, beaches naked beaches and then were in, uh, in Italy but all the pictures is probably a stock image see the naked girls or guys and uh, they ha he had just blurred like parts not supposed to show but you can do some things like that in, in this Chinese app because I think it has really so the copyright rules is really not so important I guess anyway so well sorry Oy. I'm a bit too far away I can't really bring my laptop so close so nobody is here only one uh, I think next week I'll probably do a similar thing uh, but next week I will try to find something more interesting to cook and then for the salad because at the beginning I have showed you guys how to make it so I'm not going to make an extra video just on the cooking video um, the salad anymore um, if you guys are interested you could always see this video at the beginning um, and what else is more interesting to talk about because to today there is not many people and there I have only five minutes left I guess I'm just going to um, okay I guess I'm just going to tell you all the th all the platforms you guys could contact me so if you go to my channel and on under the banner it's actually in the banner but at the bottom of the banner and you can see there are a few couple of few links so I I don't really use like my Google Plus that often but every time when I post something it goes to direct to my Google Plus so I guess so I left it there you can always contact me there I guess but um, I don't use that very often Instagram is a love and hate situation I'll try to use more but uh, probably only for a couple of food pictures and some fashion related pictures maybe but I don't use that often either and for Facebook page you can definitely write me messages and I will see all of them because that's probably one of the platform I use the most and I, I always repost all my cooking videos there as well and if you don't see any of the videos on my channel you can always follow like this page and I always update it at least once a day because I make videos once a day at least mm, what else and after that is my patron account nobody is donating so I guess if you're not interested in donating you don't have to care about that either and then that's it is also a platform like I have put some information on but I haven't really used it it's like you can pay to have dinner with me there so it's for actually for people who go travel and instead of eating in the restaurant they prefer to eat with locals that's kind of thing but uh, I have this profile um, for I don't know how long few months but uh, nobody uh, have contacted me at all I think this website is dead I feel like nobody is using it anyway the concept probably doesn't work neither anyway not everybody's house is like a restaurant or hotel quality I guess that's the reason or do you want to eat at some stranger's house maybe uh, 
he or her uh, or she is a serial killer so you never know but anyway that's like a one two three four five five things on my channel you can always click on and then contact me and then if you are Chinese there's also my WeChat I put the my WeChat account also on my about, about page so if you go to my channel on about you could see there is WeChat my WeChat account if you use WeChat honestly honestly I think WeChat is much better than WhatsApp and um, also uh, a lot better than Instagram but it's just my personal preferences and it's not for everybody um, so you can contact me through WeChat or you can also follow me on this Chinese app called the little red book so red I think if you search uh, app store and they search like red if you could find it but that's pretty much everything I don't really use that many Chinese apps anymore actually before I don't use any now even a bit more yeah WeChat I think because you can you can pretty much pay through WeChat you can there's so many functions you just need one app you can have everything and it's also a lot more useful in China you can go to a restaurant or as somebody have told me um, she went to a hospital and she forgot to bring wallet with her in China and she, she didn't know how to pay but realized the hospital provide options to pay with WeChat pay with um, the Oh, how do you call the other app? Pay Alipay, Alipay. It's the English name. I have no idea. So you don't even need to bring a wallet. You literally, you don't need to bring any card or cash with you. you just need your handy, you need your cell phone, and you can pay even in the hospital. I know in the restaurants as well, you can pay, or any kind of shops, you can pay with WeChat. It's crazy. It's so so advanced sometimes I think maybe we should like go back to China for a couple of years because to, to catch some fresh like advanced technology in Germany is so so out of date anyway right now is three o'clock in the afternoon and that's it so I have to make my cake this afternoon and probably cook dinner in two hours my husband is coming back at five or six he actually got cold i feel sorry for him because he's still at his probation period and he kind of like a call sick and still had has to go to work so thanks you guys i know today is really boring but i feel i feel pretty good about it like how i um kind of cooked the salad and um, we just had a chit chat and thank you guys for being here guys I'm talking about guys just one person <laughs> and um, next week I'll think of something more interesting to cook rather than just salad um, and um, huh, I think this week for this week or next week we're just going to be cooking videos I have a plan for a series of um, German cakes and uh, Sichuan dishes so so watch out for my videos I have videos in every day so only on working days no, not on the weekends I need a break on the weekend so okay see you guys See ya, see you next week. I have to turn this off. Oh, behind. Okay.